death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. We knew the world would not be the same. Two people laughed. Two people cried. Most people were silent. The world had 65,000 nuclear warheads. If we ruin nuclear, nuclear, there is no place else to go. And we dropped the number of nuclear warheads to about 21,000. This is not a disposable world. The emergence of this new world poses a vital issue, poses a vital issue. Will outer space be preserved for peaceful use and developed for the benefit of all mankind? Or will it become another focus for the arms race and thus an area of dangerous and sterile competition? The choice is when revelation was written, only God had the capacity to end the world. But now man does too. Because unfortunately, before man figured out how to be rational or peaceful, he figured out nuclear weapons and how to pollute on a catastrophic scale. On a catastrophic scale. Nuclear weapons and on a catastrophic scale. We've reached a point where nuclear arms threaten every person on the earth. We've reached a point. Every person on the earth. Is this the world of practical earth? As if there were only one human nature. We reached a point that an organism at war with itself is doomed. From an extraterrestrial perspective, our golden civilization is clearly on the edge of failure. How would we explain all this to a dispassionate extraterrestrial observer? We've reached a point where nuclear arms threaten every person on the earth. Now I am the coming death, the destroyer of worlds, 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 worlds. The world had 65,000 nuclear warheads. If we ruin nuclear, nuclear, there is no place else to go. And we drop the number of nuclear warheads to about 21,000. This is not a disposable world. Speaks for the nations.